Welcome to Castanet's Christmas Dog Tips to keep your dog safe for the Christmas season. Now, let's talk about the tree. We spend a lot of time decorating, putting all these fancy little decorations on and whatnot. But here's a few tips to keep your dog safe. Number one, if you decorate, yeah, see? If you decorate with food, such as gingerbread cookies, popcorn, even candy canes, then this can be attractive to the dog and the dog might jump up, try to eat it, and then you have problems. So, another tip, on the live trees, this one's fake, but on the live trees, if you show the dog where you're pouring the water, quite often that dog will say, hey, gosh darn, my water bowl is empty. So the dog will go to the tree, tip it over, you come home, and you're devastated. So there's a couple things you want to keep in mind about the tree. Tinsel, keep it at least a foot off the ground from the bottom part of the tree. You don't want to have it hanging here because puppies, kittens, cats, they get really intrigued with it and it's like, wow, something to play with, something to ingest. Not the best thing to ingest. Another one is you want to make sure that you don't allow the dog to chew on any of the wiring. So make sure that the wiring is covered best as possible. Do not allow the dog to go in behind the tree, little things like that. When it comes to Christmas presents, do we want to have wrapped chocolates under the tree six days before Christmas? No. Because what just happened to a client of mine is she put her presents under the tree, the dog opened them all up. Something you want to be aware of. No cookies wrapped under the tree, no chocolates, nothing. No food, period. So, I know you want to give those amazing cookies. What you need to do is Christmas morning, slip them under the tree, make sure that the dog isn't no close to the tree, the dog's had its breakfast, and then it's let loose and have a great time opening presents. So here's the full meal deal. Dogs, it gets stressful at Christmas because people are running around the house, the kids are back from out of school, the whole kitten's wheel. So how do we keep our dogs safe? How do we keep them happy and how do we get them through this Christmas season, you know, with the least amount of stress on us and also on them? So here's one tip. December 22nd is coming up, December 23rd. Start getting your dogs out, running around, doing errands with you more and more. You want to go skating, hiking, little things like that. Then do these activities with the dogs. But when it comes to the kitchen, whoa, off limits for dogs. Because we don't want the dogs begging and scrounging for food. When you come to the final big extravaganza of, of the turkey, another thing you want to do is get rid of that turkey carcass if you're not making the soup. So get that turkey carcass into the garbage ASAP. Don't postpone that. Get the husband to do that. You know, husbands need to do some things like this. Also, before Christmas dinner, get the dogs out. Take them for a family excursion. It's a great bonding time. Jake, Jake go to the truck. Quiet, go to the truck. Jake, go to the truck. Another very, very important tip is no treats, no food to the dogs from your guests. That's a huge no-no because the last thing you want to be doing is going to the veterinarian. Hey, 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 I know the dog is begging. But you know what, FYI, no food to the dog, especially from the kitchen table. There's some quick tips for you to keep your dog safe over the Christmas season, and have a great Merry Christmas.